Hello, APC family. Happy Wednesday to you. Uh, welcome to this week's Wednesday Word. This is Wednesday Word, Little Ones edition. Uh, we are here with uh, Bella and Abby and Whitney. They're going to help me today. And uh, we are going to um, read a story to you and sing a song to you. Uh, one of the things that, that I have missed, and I know my girls have missed, is seeing all of you little kids and being able to interact with you, being able to play percussion with you at the end of the service. And so uh, I thought that I would dedicate one of these to you and we would sing with you and, um, and interact with you a little bit and just set our hearts together uh, on the Lord, on God. And that's what we want to do today. And I'm going to read, I'm going to begin by reading my favorite kids book, uh, The Runaway Bunny. And I used to read this to my kids when they were little. It's been a long time since I've done that. Uh, but I think I read this one time in church uh, during a sermon uh, to your parents. But it's one of my favorite books uh, because it's about a little bunny who wants to run away from his mother and yet his mother won't let him go. And one of the reasons why I love it is because it's just a wonderful picture of, of the Lord and the fact that because we are the Lord's children, uh, he, uh, even when we sometimes uh, want to um, wiggle out of his hands, what does Jesus say? Nothing will snatch my own out of my hand. And so I want to read this to you, and then we're going to sing a song scripture song uh, that uh, goes with this. Uh, so this is called The Runaway Bunny. And I'll try to hold it up so you can see the pictures. Uh, Once there was a little bunny who wanted to run away. So he said to his mother, I am running away. If you run away, said his mother, I will run after you for you are my little bunny. If you run after me, said the little bunny, I will become a fish in a trout stream, and I will swim away from you. If you become a fish in a trout stream, said his mother, I will become a fisherman, and I will fish for you. If you become a fisherman, said the little bunny, I will become a rock on the mountain high above you. If you become a rock on the mountain high above me, said his mother, I will become a mountain climber, and I will climb to where you are. If you become a mountain climber, said the little bunny, I will be a crocus in a hidden garden. If you become a crocus in a hidden garden, said his mother, I'll be a gardener and I will find you. If you are a gardener and find me, said the little bunny, I will be a bird and fly away from you. If you become a bird and fly away from me, said his mother, I will be a tree that you come home to. If you become a tree, said the little bunny, I will become a little sailboat and I will sail away from you. If you become a sailboat and sail away from me, said his mother, I will become the wind and blow you where I want you to go. If you become the wind and blow me, said the little bunny, I will join a circus and fly away on a flying trapeze. If you go flying on a flying trapeze, said his mother, I will be a tightrope walker and I will walk across the air to you. If you become a tightrope walker and walk across the air, said the little bunny, I will become a little boy and will run into the house. If you become a little boy and run into the house, said his mother bunny, I will become your mother and I will catch you in my arms and hug you. Shucks, said the little bunny. I might as well stay where I am and be your little bunny. And so he did. Have a carrot, said the mother bunny. I love that story because it reminds me that even when, um, even when I want to run away from the Lord sometimes in my sin that he won't let me go and he'll run after me. And then a great verse that uh, um, helps us focus on that fact is Romans 8, uh, 38 and 39. And uh, I'm going to write these lyrics in the comment section 
Um, I'm gonna have Abby read it in just a moment, but I'm gonna write these lyrics in the comment section and, uh, and then invite you to sing this song with us um, as, as we sing through it a couple times. It's just a simple scripture song. Uh, this is from an um, organization called Seeds Family Worship. We used to sing these songs a lot in our house. And uh, I'll, link, uh, I'll link to their page as well so you can take advantage of these and maybe spend this time uh, cooped up in your house uh, learning some scripture songs. Uh, so we're going to sing this to you, but I'm going to have Abby read it first, first off. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, nor angels nor demons, neither the present or the future, nor any power, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus. So this is an echo song, and so the girls are going to echo, and uh, you can echo too. Uh, the first couple phrases you just repeat after me. So you can listen, or you can try to sing along, uh, but this is, uh, this is the song Convinced. Heavenly Father, we thank you for these great promises from your word that nothing can separate us from your love and that even at times when we wander and we think we know better uh, what we need and what we want, that even then uh, you pursue us. So Father, hold us fast. Never let us go. And I pray that each of these uh, kids that are watching this and listening would feel and know uh, your love for them that will never let them go. And may that be their hope and may that be their joy all of their lives. And this I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks for spending a few minutes with us. I hope you guys have a great week and we look forward to being together again 
soon. Bye-bye.